The most important tech you will pick in your accounting firm all together now, practice, right. management. Right. practice management. And the platform we're looking at today blends simplicity with some really cool new AI stuff that's gonna get your work out the door faster. I'm talking saving hours, buddy boy. A couple years ago, I ran a 40 person accounting practice and at the time there was nothing like this. There was your big, really complex practice management systems, your cool workflow tools, but they didn't do the practice management. But this platform, buddy is doing both these things and you don't need a PA PhD in uh, learning a whole new piece of software. It is called Client Hub. This video is sponsored. This is a demo day where we run you through real quick how a tool works, save you a sales call, and give you a peek into just, just, just how green is that grass over there? Is it? Is it greener? And if so, how green? Today in this video, I will first show you how Client Hub is actually a pretty simple platform that that your clients will love, believe it or not. Second, how it will help you automate the actual doing of the work, not just manage the work, but streamline the work itself. And third, some really cool new AI features they've got built into the platform because Man, imagine the nightmare scenario of putting your entire accounting firm onto a practice management system that doesn't keep up with AI over the next few years. That'll cost you. Client Hub, shipping some cool AI stuff. I'm gonna show you that, but first, check this out, man. I wish every platform did this. We're in our internal firm-only workspace. You can see up here, you got the firm-only stuff, but then you got the client stuff. And I can see the client's workspace. If I get on the horn with the client, I gotta walk them through how to do something. What they see, it's this. Makes it so much easier to support the client. In fact, I'll just show you. Logged in as the client, it's this. Even, even the three tabs up here are the same. You got your to-dos, you got your chit chats, and you got your quick access to other stuff. Only difference in the client view, they don't see all of my clients, right? But because most contacts will actually have several clients, Judy could also see her 1040 account. The three LLCs her attorney told her she had to set up for each of her rentals. All that's gonna show up on the left-hand side. Client Hub, it's long been like a really clean sort of two-sided task management system. If we flip back to the firm view, all of our work gets managed here in a view that's very similar to the client's view. So when I need something from the client, I literally just assign them a task and they've got a really good mobile app. So all the same tasks that you're seeing here, they show up in here. They can message, they can pull recent files. If they should have access to several clients like their 1040 account, any other businesses, those rental LLCs, they'll all show up on the left here. It is the modern experience that honestly, people these days expect and we struggle to deliver because we haven't had the right tools to do it. Now, I need something from the client. I just assign it to them, they get a notification. And Bob's your uncle, man. So we're looking at Judy's pet groomer. Judy's, Judy's pet groomer. Should it be Judy's pet grooming? Grooming? It's none of my business. Doesn't this just lead to confusion? Have you been to Judy's Pet Groomer? Judy, no. What's it called? Oh, yeah, Judy's Pet Groomer. Yes. So like I said, we got tasks, messages, and quick access here. If I say create a new client task, on the left you put all the options, and on the right you can actually see a preview of what it looks like for the client. You can select what type of request it ought to be, but, but check this out. I'm just gonna say attach last month's bank statement. Watch this, woohoo! You see that, what updated down there? Hit them with the instant replay. I just typed that in and it changed to, okay, that means it's a file upload. And you see this little purple guy? If it's purple, it means it's AI. They actually call it magic. I'm a little unclear on which it is. Cause you go to their website and there's like magic stuff. A lot of the buttons have these sparkles here. Honestly, this feels more like AI to me than magic. I don't know if we've talked about this. I'm actually a bit of a magic expert myself. Uh, so this hand, nothing here, right? Nothing up the sleeve, just a regular old hand. But if I go like this, it's a coin there now. Not a big deal, but like that's what actual magic looks like. This is honestly my favorite type of AI, the AI that just happens. I just typed that in and it figured out what type of request it was. That's great, but I can also come up here and use AI to generate the text of the request. So ask for the bank statement in, in ye olde English, something AI is very good at, by the way. Great, that, that's exactly what I want. Again, AI, but I don't know that that's actually magic. What? Hang on. Yeah, no, that, yeah, I was, I was something in your ear there. So 
I can save and notify the client. Now, if I flip back to the client view, they've got this outstanding task now. They can upload it from their computer. They can do it on a mobile device. And if you've ever tried to like roll out a client portal with your clients, you know most practice management systems, the client portal is just an afterthought. It's this weird bolted on thing. Client Hub was really designed to make this as easy as possible for your clients so that they will actually use it. Because the reality is most clients, they have some sort of task management system they use to run their own business. So rather than playing telephone or just sending them a list of stuff in email, just give them access to a shared task management system. You push tasks to your team, push tasks to the client, save you a ton of time chasing clients for docs. Now, second thing Client Hub does really well is they're going deep on workflow. To be clear, this is a full-blown practice management system where I can manage my work, manage all the details about my clients. I like this internal workspace view. You got all the jobs for a client on the left, anything the team has pinned, notes, even email. You connect your email and all that stuff can come through here as well. Clients over here will be highlighted if there's unread messages or notifications that I gotta dig into. And this is all great stuff for a practice management system. The work itself we can manage in a detailed way. Here we've got all of our tasks associated with this work. Under each task, you can put a bunch more information and, and templatize all this for kind of the recurring work you do. We can add internal tasks. We can also add client tasks. I hit plus client task. Please give me some info. Set it to an open text type. I can give them a due date if I want. Set auto reminders. Add that one to the job. Ooh, they've got a really cool feature called Autopilot that will automatically push client tasks to them before the job start date so that when you start the work, you already have all the information that you need from the client to do the work. And I love that, but they have some ledger connected features for both QuickBooks and Xero that are more oriented around the doing of the work. So if we come in here to reports, you can push fancy looking reports to your clients directly from Client Hub. They come through the same client experience. There's an AI insights feature, looks at everything in the financials and, and gives insights. We can leave this field blank. You can customize the prompt if you want, like if you want it in old English, I'm just gonna say generate. It's going to give me a starting point for kind of like an executive summary. Revenue pl <laughs> revenue plunged from $9,856 in September to $0 in October. That's a demo account for you. That's actually really handy. If you're just giving them the financials, they probably can't make sense of it. So you generally offer some sort of explanation, right? And that AI insights, at the very least, is making sure you're not missing anything. You can use it as a starting point for whatever you want to send them. So ClientUp's pulling all that data from QuickBooks. This is probably my favorite workflow feature here. Here's books review. They're using that deep QuickBooks integration to help you like actually do the month end close. This is a demo file. So let's set this to, let's say year to date up to last month. And you can run through these one by one, expense inconsistencies. I'm gonna minimize this. It says normally all state is put in insurance, but right now it's in uncategorized. ABC marketing, normally goes in marketing, but right now it's in office supplies. So how do you fix this on the QuickBooks side? Drum roll please, watch, here we go. You just click it. You just, that's, that's literally it. You click it and it pushes that fix back to QuickBooks, just like that. We can also do this for purchases without payees. This one, 45 bucks. Somehow got into QuickBooks without any sort of description. Purchases in parent accounts. You know, like you got a parent account and sub accounts, you just want them in the sub accounts. It'll catch that for you. Large transactions. Look at all these, $76,000. Here's the thing, we could put internal comments on this, but what I'm gonna do, I can create a client task from that. You see how many clicks that was? One, flip back to the client view. In here, we've got seven QuickBooks items not answered. Scroll down here, transaction questions. Can you tell us more about this transaction? Sorry, Portuguese hair transplant, this is personal. Client pushes that info back to us. On the firm side, what do you know? Answered, open the client task, Portuguese hair transplant, there you go. Now, with that info, I can actually click here and it will deep link me straight into the transaction in QuickBooks to do it whatever I want with it. In this case, I'm just gonna mark it done. We sort of cruise past something really cool there actually. Back to the client view. These are all questions that have been pushed to the client based on their QuickBooks activity. So $102 transaction from Amazon. We don't have any other detail. Give me a receipt, give me a description. Any of those ambiguous transactions we can push to the client as a client task. They can handle it in the client portal. They get a notification on their phone. They hop in, get you the goods and you're off to the races. All that happening in one system that is both your practice management system, but also functioning as a workflow tool. And if you follow my app recommendations, the big food pyramid triangle thing, you know just how rare this is. Most platforms, 
They do practice management. They manage the work, but they don't do the work. Then you got a whole other category of tools that are like actually doing the work. Cleanup's trying to smoosh that into one app. They're actually doing both because reality is you don't want entirely separate apps for each of those things, right? Now, last thing I'll show you under books review, we can come down here and see a full balance sheet and p &L. We can see current period to previous period based on the dates that I set up here. If I go to the p &L, I can flip it to cash basis. I can run an AI analysis. Look at it go. It's gonna highlight the problematic stuff. So I come down here to this yellow bar. Services surged 327%. Seems sus, says the AI. Uncategorized expense. It's just saying, hey, you forgot to categorize these expenses. This is a very basic demo file. That's actually pretty cool. Again, if I want, I can go view it in QuickBooks. It'll link me straight into this report. And they're actually just rolling this out now. They've got some cool like automated W9, 1099 stuff coming out as well. Now last, let's talk cool AI features. You've already seen a couple of them, but there's even, even more magic here. In fact, real quick, think of a number between one and 10. Serious, right now, think of a number. Okay, you got it? Now, right now, leave a comment with what your number is. I'm not kidding. Do that now, it'll make sense later. Okay, left comment? Good, okay. I'm back in our internal firm workspace and I'm gonna click Magic Workflow. This AI basically serves as your starting point for creating any new task. So, I, I don't know. What's something I don't know anything about? Uh, we're gonna prepare a Wisconsin use tax return. Is that a thing? That's probably a thing. It's gonna generate the job and it's now drafted a job for us. <laughs> I should have given it a better prompt, huh? The cool thing that it did here is that it builds all of these subtasks itself, and they're not gonna be perfect, but these are your starting point. So each task like has further detail under the task, but AI just built the version one of that for you. Another really cool AI built into the platform, you can manage your email in here, and you can use AI to like draft the first version of your email for you, change the tone of your email. Similarly, if we come back to messaging, let's go to the client workspace, I can come down here and use AI to help me write a message. I was politely asked Judy why she'd been ignoring me for the last three weeks. Great, lovely, no notes. But if I had notes, look at this, I could shorten it in one click. Shorter, shorter, short, uh, okay. We've reached minimum shortness. Gonna hit insert and then just fire that off, pew. Again, is it magic? Is it AI? I don't know. <laughs> Forgot that was in there, sorry. Earlier we saw magic client tasks where it predicts what type of request you want based on the text in the task. You saw magic financial statement insights, where it'll draft an executive summary, and then magic books review. Honestly, very cool. Goes account by account to see if there's anything we need to be watching out for. And frankly, all of this sits on top of just a system that's doing the details. Well, in fact, we'd asked for that bank statement, right? Common problem, somebody sends you a smartphone picture of a bank statement, nobody wants that. I pull up the mobile app, I come down to that bank statement request, pray, provide the bank statement. I can say scan documents. This is actually a great example. This is a white desktop and a white document. Look at this. Look how nicely it scans it. Flattened it. If I had to do a multi-page, I could do more pages. I'm just gonna say save. I'll submit that. Come back to the firm side here. Here was that request. I look at the uploaded file. It's nice, right? All cleaned up. Similarly, if the client just wants to send me a picture of a document under messages, I can do the same thing. I can attach and then scan documents. Figures out where the edges are. Save, and back on the firm side, here it is, nice and crispy. Pretty cool, right? Like the stuff you want from your practice management system, a lot of things we didn't get into from like work management, setting up dashboards, but also getting into the doing of the work, like as a very, very good QuickBooks integration to help you get that work out the door faster. Very cool stuff from ClientHub. You wanna learn more about ClientHub? Check out the link below the like button to learn more. And buddy, it is peak tech selection season right now. And do I have a playlist of good stuff right up here? Some of the coolest apps out there for accounting firms. We rapid fire through a whole bunch of them so you can head into next year in a better spot, okay? Check them out. Check them out, check them out, check them out, check them out.